Hello and welcome back to the Ultra HD Gamer and I'm going to make an updated video on this HP 2010i computer monitor since it is my most viewed video on my channel also the most disliked with 19 dislikes and 15 likes cause admittedly it was absolutely crap I did not really do anything correctly in that video but anyway, I'm going to do a quick overview of this monitor. It is a 1600 by 900 p monitor, so it is HD. It is a widescreen flat panel from around 2009 or 2010. I got it for around 10 bucks at the thrift store. It uses a standard computer power cable, and it has DVI and VGA, no HDMI. It has onboard speakers, which is pretty nice, and I use it with my Raspberry Pi 3. I am going to, well no, I'm not going to turn it on. But it is a relatively nice monitor, and I am making an absolutely crappy video. Because, well, I mean, yeah. I'm going to boot up the Raspberry Pi, because might as well. As you can see, the Pi is booting up, and it is running Raspberryan, an older version, because, well, I got this Pi back in 2016, four years ago. So, the monitor overall looks relatively decent. I mean, like, you can still see some pixels, but not many. I'm just going to run some Minecraft Pi. The graphics on this game are absolutely crappy, but this is just going to be a test of the monitor. 1600 by 900 p gaming, or just 900p gaming. So, I mean, I think it's a 60 hertz monitor, it should be. And it is a regular LCD panel. Uh, I would expect it to be at least maybe uh, TFT, hopefully IPS. I would need to check up on the specs. Um, yeah. Overall, the monitor is decent. I wouldn't say it's a great monitor anymore since. I mean, these two monitors are admittedly a whole lot more superior to that since they're 1050p and probably have the same amount of uh, refresh rate. Actually, all these monitors I got from the thrift store for around eight to ten dollars. Let's exit Minecraft and play a YouTube video on this monitor. And overall, this monitor has been a very reliable monitor. It has not really failed me, as a monitor shouldn't. A monitor should technically last for a very long time. And, uh, yeah. Let's go to my insanely crappy YouTube channel and just watch a YouTube video. The Pi is pretty slow. Okay, let's watch some uh, World of Warships. I can actually understand why my like to dislike ratio is insanely skew skewed towards the dislike because my videos are absolutely crappy. So these are the speakers running on the monitor. Let's see if I can bring it up. Nope, I just press source. I am an idiot. 
Okay. Back to normal. So it is a 60 hertz monitor at 1600 by 900. As any monitor from at least 2010 should be. It has stereo speakers, I think it does at least, and the speakers sound okay, like I said for the hundredth time. Let's try to run the run the video at 720p and do it at full screen. And uh, sorry for it not being complete full screen. As you can see, there's a lot of bezels on this monitor, and it is a thick boy. As you can see, this is a thick, thick monitor. But it is also older. I think the game is lagging itself. Nope, it's the video that's lagging. It, the problem is more the Raspberry Pi itself rather than the monitor because the Pi is kind of a potato today. It's always been a potato. But overall, this monitor is a decent monitor, especially for tasks like running a Pi and doing bits of coding. And uh, yeah, it's relatively sharp. It's not as sharp as my 4K monitor, but it gets the job done. Enough of me rambling. I am just going to end the video here and now. If you like this video, you can like it. If you dislike it, then press that dislike button. Whatever. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. My channel's not that great anyway, but yeah. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.